Comox Valley, BC. Over 800 reservists have made the outskirts of town their base camp. They're here to protect the innocent. They're here to dismantle an enemy camp. They're here to deliver humanitarian aid, all in close chronological and geographic proximity. They're here to train in full spectrum operations. My name is Wendy, I work at the Ottawa Mission. I work in client services. I'm a social worker there. Um, what I do is client contact mainly. This has been a long time coming. The excitement's welling up in, quite, in, in all of us. We want to see this come to flourishing and, uh, and, and actually get to it. Uh, it's been a long time coming in the planning phase. So now the practical aspects are coming more into play and everybody's quite excited with the big step forward. I'm excited. I can't wait to get down to the actual real thing. Get down to the actual uh, high, high, high tides and uh, high sea states, heavy winds, and a lot of things going on. It's a million dollar event and we're hosting it here at the wing and this is an ideal opportunity for the people that operate the Aurora to link with the intelligence and reconnaissance people of 39 Brigade. Uh, for the army to find out what's going on on the other side of the hills uh, would require scouts and patrols whereas in minutes we can be over there and nobody ever knows that we've been and looked. Leading seaman Al Fontaine is pumped to be on the course. Al is 34 years old. He's from Cornwall, Ontario. I tried once, I didn't make it. I tried again, I made it. Um, I just love it. I, I think it's the, the elite of the elite. Uh, they're the best divers in the world. And uh, you get cool, cool gear. When someone enters the building, the first people they meet are the front desk staff. They help them become oriented with the mission. They make sure that their immediate needs are met, whether it's toiletries or a bed or a meal. And they make sure that the place is safe for the people in the mission. There are surveillance cameras in our front desk area and in many parts of our building to ensure that people who come in here are safe. If a client needs personal hygiene supplies, if a client needs any immediate help to go to a doctor's appointment or any other appointments, the front desk is often the first line that they come to meet to get that help. This is a rare opportunity for reservists to put into practice years of training. They must learn to maximize all the resources at their disposal. What I really, really appreciate is the um, and sort of the connection that we get with people. The way that if you do your job correctly and if you, you say the right things at the right moment, uh, by the end of the tour everyone is sort of on the same wavelength, no matter where they're from, no matter what language they speak. 
Parliament is the type of place that no matter who you are, no matter what your background is, no matter what your interests are, you will find something that interests you. I remember giving a tour to a group from Sri Lanka. And apparently on this tour was one of the more popular singers. He was surrounded by, uh, by Buddhist monks, the, the real kind, in, in, the, in, the, in the, full, uh, the full garb and the sandals and, and the shaved head. And I thought, these people have very little in common with me, and yet we were able to connect. We were able to find those things that, that, that made it that everybody uh, understood what we were talking about. The building tells you its own story um, through its own language and, and the, particular, the particular dialect the building has. 